Hey y'all. Hey, I missed y'all. As you can see from the title down below, y'all know what I'm about to talk about. And I don't care if y'all say, well, What qualifies you to to talk about the da 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 I'm still doing it. A lot of loosey hairstyle. I like it. It's giving an art piece. Six and a half out of ten. guys, it's your girl Sexy K and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title down below, I will be rating the BET 2023 outfits looks. Yeah, I just really wanted to get into it because I was looking at the shade room, which I know a lot of us probably follow on Instagram, and I don't know with some of y'all who to be mad at. I don't know to be mad at the designer or the people who chose to wear the outfits, the people that said yes, so yeah. PSA this video is no hate towards anybody. I liked a lot of y'all that was there. I just didn't like what y'all was wearing. It's my personal opinion. Anyways, I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer. I wanna go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. Alright, so y'all will see who see and like know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna insert a picture of them like right here, so maybe I should just Y'all will see them. Alright. So honestly, going through these looks, I felt like the females were wearing like lingerie, sheer type looks. And men wore like half tuxes. Like you got the tux vest, take away the shirt, sleeve, maybe a tie. And you was wearing it with like some shorts and boots. I didn't know if the BET Awards had a thing. Or, but then it couldn't. It really couldn't. Because a lot of y'all had no rhyme or cohesion to go with it. Like, I, it, there was there was no coordination with a lot of these outfits. And I was just really confused and really lost. Like, some of y'all was even dressed to go to a funeral. And then some of y'all dressed like y'all was about to go to, like, the Grammys or something. Like, y'all look nice. And then, let's go ahead and get into this, alright? So, look number one is Miss Ice Spice. <laughs> And she went with the lingerie sheer look. Right in this outfit, I ain't gonna lie, the bust down's nice. You know, a simple bust down, you can't really go wrong with that. But, um, let's see. Simple black heels. It's like, I don't hate the look, but I don't love it either. Like, I don't know. It's kind of giving, like, lingerie top. And I get, like, a little mermaid vibe at the bottom. Because it's kind of, like, sexy mermaid. Blurry at the bottom. I'm going to give her look about a 7 out of 10. Oh, y'all, rate these outfits with me, too. Let's talk about it. So, I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. Like, I don't hate it, but I can't say I all the way love it, either. But, not going to lie, it is her style, so. Next, we got Big Glow. Miss Glorilla. Miss Glow. I love you. It's like looking at her outfit. I feel like we didn't know whether we wanted to go with the peacock look at the bottom. We had sequins on like the middle of the dress. We looked like a disco ball in the middle. And then like at the top with the sleeves, it was giving like that vibe. What was it? 60s, 70s vibe where you had the dancers with the gloves and the tops, the showgirls type of. I got three different looks from this and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Now she looks cute though. She still looks cute. Her hair is nice. Makeup done. You know, girl real is cute. But I the outfit. I don't know. I get disco ball, a gray peacock, and showgirl. And it's kinda like I wanted to wear you you know as a kid, you wanna wear an outfit. But you also want to wear another outfit, and then you got another outfit that's one of your favorite outfits that you want to wear, and then you try to put it all together, and you end up looking a mess. Yeah. So, but you know what? No, I'm sorry, I can't even give this good right. Y'all, I'm gonna have to give her. A... I hate doing this, but I have to give it a three out of ten. I didn't, I didn't like it. Lil Uzi, he's just like Lil Uzi. I mean, <laughs> I hate this one. It's kind of like I don't really have no true opinion on his look. Which is weird because it's like, I don't know, like for instance, you see people go to like gatherings like Met Gala, Grammys, Emmys, like stuff like that. And 
there is like a dress code or there's a theme to it or anything of that sort and you know people can still like go with the theme and then still have like their own style mixed into it but I feel like when it comes to BET awards it just put on whatever you want that's how I get like and I'm just like why is our award show like that like why can't we have some type of coordination I don't understand like it makes me look at it like well, well, well it's giving it gives unorganized it really does and y'all this year BET awards was so I haven't watched BET like that for real, like BET Awards. I really stopped watching it after my honest behavior. If you know, you know. But this year, this year was it was real. It was real ghetto. It was real ghetto. Y'all look like y'all had fun, but it was giving real ghetto. But anyways, back to Little Uzi Vert. Um, dresses in their element. I feel like he did that very much. You know, he dressed like he usually would dress. I don't really feel like he had any anything astonishing or a wow factor to his outfit at all because it's he's dressed how he usually would dress like if he was doing a performance or anything like that so he looks okay i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give him five out of ten five out of ten yeah big lotto <laughs> all right y'all i really don't have you know her outfit was what a lot of people wore like the lingerie underneath with the sheer I don't have a problem with her outfit at all. I really don't. Hair was cute. She looks nice. Heels cute. She looks cute. I ain't got a problem with her at all. Like, and actually, I feel like she kind of kept her look a little bit more on the classier side, which I do like. And it kind of gave you like, you know, this ain't like the Emmys or the Grammys, but it's still an award show, so I'm gonna still dress a little bit of classy with my. I'm still just a little classy, so I'm gonna give her about a eight out of ten. I ain't gonna lie, some of these people's names I don't know, but I probably have heard their music or something. But yeah, so our next look, I definitely get earthy vibes from it. Mama's hair is cute with her outfit. I do like that. I'm glad we got those two looks coordinated with each other. That's what I like. I love the tan color of the outfit against her skin tone. It really makes it pop. I get earthy vibes from her. I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't got a problem with her outfit. I like that she did something different to where it wasn't really lingerie and there was no sheer part to it or sheer aesthetic to it. I like the fact that it's different and I'm gonna give her an 8 out of 10. Next look. Has a sheer look and it has a dripping jewels look. Dripping jewels, if y'all understood what I was saying. Dripping jewels look. I'm not mad at this one. I really like this one. This one's cute and I feel like her, oddly enough, I feel like her hair went with it. I really do. Do I? Oh. Yeah, she's giving very much art piece. I give it. I gotta say she's giving very much art piece, and I, I really like it. Oh snap! Hold on, let's look at the shoes now. Hold on. We got the dripping jewels on the shoes. This is really cute. I really like it. It's nice. She looks cute. A lot of Lucy hairstyle. I like it. It's giving art piece. You know what I'm saying? I really like this look. So I'm gonna give her a. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten because I just really she gives art piece. She looks like an art piece. She really does. Annalie Chapa. That looks like how NLE would dress to a BT award. It does. Um, he kind of got that tux look going on. Um, with the vest. He's jeweled out. It's very simple, it's very clean, it's very plain to an extent. Hmm. I'm not trying to be funny, but it's y'all this good. <laughs> This gives like late 90s, early 2000s vibe. Kind of like the TLC look. It's giving TLC. Like he wanted to be a backup male dancer for TLC. I'm not playing. Like he looks like a backup dancer for TLC. Like that's what the look his designer went for. TLC early uh, 2000s. Yes ma'am. Yep. But he doesn't look bad. I'm not going to say, you know, he looked like oh. Uh, but I do feel like it could have gave just a little bit more. I do feel like that. So, I'm going to have to give him a... Six and a half out of ten. Now, now. I don't care what nobody say. I feel like a win is a win. A win is a win, you guys. I don't care what nobody say. A win is a win. Y'all may not like Summer Walker. Okay? Y'all may not like Summer Walker. And why, see, why am I saying her name like that, Summer Walker? You guys may not like Summer Walker. I'm so excited, y'all. I don't know why I got so much energy. But y'all may not like Summer Walker and Little Meech together. But I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm really not gonna hold y'all. Some of y'all friends don't like you and your baby daddy together. Or you and that boyfriend have been eight, they been doing you right for the past couple of years together, but y'all still together. So I don't feel like y'all have no room to judge Summer Walker and Little Meech. 
that's just my personal opinion okay so if we're gonna talk about it let's talk about it if i don't want to if y'all not ready for that conversation please step to the side now i'm not gonna say oh, oh my gosh i idolize this couple i think they're a perfect match in the i don't know because i don't know what happens behind closed doors but what i do know is that they are cute together they're really cute together they are cute together i'm not gonna take that from them and y'all this look that they did for the bet awards it gave husband and wife it did i don't know what it was about it that captivated me they were cute they were beautiful like they were cute to me i like summer walker with her body con dress and it has that ribbed look and the bottom kind of goes into a nude or it's like some type of sheer material i really like that i thought that was really cute i felt like her hair was nice simple and elegant i like that about her look I just like how they kept it you can't go wrong with black it's really hard to go wrong with black and they just kept it very simple very elegant he's wearing a simple black dress shirt uh some type of slacks and oh snap if y'all look real close to the shoes they're actually velvet sneakers that's i feel like that was a better pick than actual like black just regular black sneakers like the velvet velvet can lift up a look let's be real it can I really feel like they did the big one with this one. I like it. They're going to a high profile funeral. I like it. I really do. This was really cute, you guys. I'm not mad at it. I'm <sighs> Y'all. I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of ten. I like I'm gonna give it a nine point two out of ten. Cause I do like this look. I really do. I wanna give it a ten out of ten, but but I'm not gonna lie, she is a 10 out of 10 in this picture by herself. No shade. I feel like maybe if they would have had like simple neck pieces, like little simple jewelry, or maybe like, I just feel like the neck area of her dress could have maybe been more creative. Or like maybe it could have like, I just feel like if I could just throw a bit of silver in the picture, cause it would have gave that, it would have gave it a real crisp clean look. Maybe like a silver necklace for her and a silver necklace for him. That would, his and hers, that would have been so cute. I really feel like that would have elevated it. Just a few more points for it to be that 10 out of 10. But I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. I really do like these. this look though. Like, very simple, very elegant. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Give me basil. Yeah. Extend the. I can't. Look up, Virgo. Lola Brooks. Yeah, she's so cute to me. She's a cutie. Um mad at her look at all honestly i'm really not you know i heard her little chains is giving multiple chains not two chains she's got a whole lot of chains on her and i actually think that i like the fact that underneath the chains she has some type of bodycon outfit and it gives her he gives her frame a little shape which i mean she does have a shape but it's like you know it kind of accentuates it's sent it's sent oh why can i say the word it enhances her shape okay there we go why can i think of the word though oh that's so irritating but it, it enhances her shape and the chains it give it that drapey kind of look but like you can still see through the chains because like they're kind of scarce on the dress and it just it's a it's a nice look it's very different i i do like that part it's very different um now one thing i did i was, I was <sighs> is she holding a football like the purse looks like a football i it looks like a pink and gold football. I'm not sure what, what she's holding. I mean, it's a purse, but I don't know what kind of purse it is. Y'all, that, that's probably a purse I can't even afford. I'm probably not. <laughs> but it just looks like a football, and I'm just not with it for this look. I feel like maybe she should have had a... Just a maybe just regular gold purse. Or even a silver purse because she has silver chains. Or like I said, a black purse. Like, black, you, it's hard to go wrong with black. Or a nude purse. A nude purse would even work. But it, the pink... I understand maybe the pink is matching her nails, but the pink is kind of throwing me off at the bottom of the football. But her shoes are cute though. Her shoes are cute. Simple buzz down. Very cute. I like it, but that football is throwing me off. Also, I'm not, I'm a, it's not a football, but I'm, it just looks like a football to me. It's a purse, but I'm going to stop calling it a football. It's a purse. The purse is throwing me off. So I'm going to have to give 7 out of 10. I'm going to have to give her a 7 out of 10. Because of the purse, it's just... I mean, maybe I feel like if we could have changed our nails before the award show. I mean, her nails are cute, but it doesn't fit the outfit, you know. And I feel like that's just, that's why I said I feel like there. Some people like they just 
some of them ba just barely made the mark and some of them just barely missed the mark i just we should have did like a gold nail or metallic nail that would have been cute now y'all when i seen this masked person i didn't know who i didn't have a clue i didn't have a clue who this was i didn't I had to read the comments because I didn't have a clue who this was. Y'all, this is Rich the Kid. I didn't know. Uh, where you where he been at? I don't know where he's been at, but um, oh, what also kind of helped me identify who it was? Like he had Rich, like the ring spelled out Rich on one hand. So I was like, oh, that is Rich the Kid for real. Like these people aren't lying. Um, but on his look, I'm getting like a Wakanda type of vibe from the headpiece. I I feel like he could have been like a superhero or like he could have been like a Marvel character. Honestly. That's not the point of this. He do like a Marvel character to me, like some type of superhero wearing like a mask. I don't know. It gave superhero at the top and then at the bottom is giving like skater boy. I don't know much about him to say that this is his style, but as a look overall, uh-uh, uh-uh. This wasn't it. it this would have been oh, maybe okay for like another red carpet. But not this one. I just feel like that one shouldn't have been there. Like he really, he really wanted to stand out because mm -mm. that this just wasn't it for me. Um, but it was coordinated, you know, to an extent. The patterns, it was the patterns. Y'all, I ain't really got much to say about this because I was um, I didn't know we was going to a comic con or what. But y'all, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. I wasn't feeling it. Queen Naja. Okay. Queen Naja. It's giving 10, man. A purple 10, man. It's giving. But you know what? I like the look. I did like the look. I like the metallic look. The metallic look. Like I said, I like metallic looks. So this wasn't bad. I actually liked it. The look, like, it looked really nice. The body confident dress with the um, flare at the bottom. And I feel like the color really complemented her skin tone. Which also helped elevate the look. I just personally, I feel like we could have done a different hairstyle. Like maybe we could have done one like her more natural curly looks, um, deep wave look, or even a simple bust down. But you know, okay. But as an outfit overall, her handbag, not too mad at it. I'm really not. Could have been a little bit more ah, but I'm not mad at it. It was purple and it went with the dress. Okay, shoes I can't tell because. The dress is covering the shoes. So there we go. That's another way you hit you help you help take away a whole talking factor. But I do like the dress against her skin tone. I really do. I feel like she really kept it plain and simple and I was for it. So I'm gonna give her a hmm. I'm gonna give her a seven and a half seven and a half out of ten. Flow. Flow flow flow. I'm not mad at the dress. Um, I love the colors against her skin tone. For some reason, this is giving me a, a Roman Empire type of thing look. Like a, I don't know, gladiator? I don't know. I'm not, we could have kept the colors, but I felt like we could have found a better dress. Because she's a beautiful girl. I really, like, I just, like, she's, so, you could tell, she's still serving this look. But, but she's giving face. But I just feel like we could have, we could have did another look. Like, and the shoes go beautifully with it, though. I, I have to say that the shoes go beautiful. She looks like a goddess, but it's just. I just feel like the dress could have gave more. I'm gonna have to give her a five and a half out of ten. Dress could have gave more. <sighs> okay, I'm not sure who this is. Um, but he look I ain't nothing special. He he just look he look I. I mean, we have a vest. Is this them jeans? Hold up. Are those jeans? He's giving black cowboy. Yeah. Black cowboy iced out on a neck. I'm underwhelmed. Looking at this look, I really am. Uh, four and a half out of ten. Carly Red. Hey, Carly. You know, but talk about it. <laughs> uh, okay. I see metallic big bird on the skirt. Mm-hmm. We got a Little Mermaid corset top. And we got silver heels. The party to the skirt really throws this whole outfit off. Um. I feel like it was going to go for the Little Mermaid thing at the top. I feel like she should have had like a nude undergarment and it had like the little mermaid top and it had like a uh uh i feel like the i feel like the bottom should have looked more like the top does that make sense like it could have been made just like the top but like of course maybe like fitted and flary but this party city skirt with this big bear big bird pattern you know how big birds feathers used to look 
absolutely not <laughs> this is just not giving and then why y'all put her, why y'all do her this bad because like when i tried to find other photos of her i could not find other photos of this girl like like this is like the only photo y'all had of her sis was not ready for the photo she wasn't y'all did her dirty um i want to say underwhelmed but i really do love the top part i just wish the top and the bottom would have been more coordinated um this was a miss um i have to give you a three and a half out of ten i've, I've seen this guy but i i don't i don't know who it is exactly um okay maybe we could have wore the tux look but i feel like we should have picked some better shoes the shoes are kind of throwing me off i feel like they could have been dressier oh again this look underwhelms me um I don't understand where the pink came in at though. Like, if we was gonna throw some pink in it, maybe he should have put on another pink accent or something because I don't know. I'm again, I'm underwhelmed. Three out of ten. Three. Well, no, mm, three, three and a half out of ten. Oh, I've been down about this look. I ain't gonna lie, like I don't hate it. I can't say I all the way love it, but I don't hate it. She's giving poison ivy. And I like the green against her skin. I really do. It's giving poison ivy. I like her though. This is cute. This is cute. I can't really see the shoes, but you can tell. I feel like the shoes go with that look, even if I can't really see them. It wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. I feel like that's a good rating. I like the poison ivy look on her. And the hair is really cute. I'm gonna give you an 8 out of 10 because the color against her skin is very beautiful. Um, the hair, I feel like it goes with the look. I like it. It has a type of elegance to it. I really do like it. And I'm not even a big fan of the color green for real. My hair is actually bluish, greenish, but yeah. <sighs> Miss Coco Jones. Y'all know I like Coco Jones. Well, no, y'all don't. But I like Coco Jones. I really do. This color, this red lipstick, pink lipstick color against her skin, I really did think it would look beautiful. However, while her face is beautiful, hair beautiful, I was underwhelmed with the dress. I feel like, I just feel like it could have been more. I feel like the top part was just missing something. I don't know. The top part was, Coco Jones has a nice cute shape. You know, the color looks nice on her, but I just, maybe if the dress wasn't like the purple, I mean the reddish, pinkish lipstick color and like shiny. Maybe if it wasn't shiny, I don't know. It just something's missing. I really feel like something was missing. This look, I felt empty at the top. And I'm not saying because, y'all, I, I felt empty looking at the look that they gave her. I really did. Um, I hate dudes because I really like the girl, but I'm about to give her a five out of ten. I don't know who this is, but um, she ain't even giving a full lingerie look. I mean, she's just basically straight up sheer and um the sheer the way the sheer is made is nice i like the little pattern on it um but it's it's giving like somebody who's about to go to a new beach and it's just this it could have been more elegant considering it was an award show even though it was very ghetto it was still an award show at the end of the day i'm gonna have to give her a um two up to in now this look right here again i feel like it's missing something i thought the look was cute i like the color i like the color against the skin tone it's nice Hair is cute, but I still feel underwhelmed. The look, shoes are cute though. I just noticed the shoes. The shoes are really cute, but I just feel like there's something missing. Maybe she should have had a necklace, maybe a silver necklace. Maybe that would have made the top pop out. I just feel like the bottom part of the dress is fine, but I feel like the top part, maybe it shouldn't have been sheer. I just feel like there, there could have been more done for the top. It's, it didn't give. Something's missing with this look also. And I hate that because the color is really pretty. I don't know. Now, y'all, again, I don't know who this is, but Mama's gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Cause she, I, I, I like the, I like the dress. It's giving ice, it's giving broken glass. It's giving, baby, I may be, look like, I look like a chandelier. It's giving chandelier, I'm expensive. That's what it gave. And I was all for the look. This chandelier look, I really liked it. I really thought this was beautiful. I thought, this was award show ready to me. Okay, this was uh, 10 out of 10. This was award show ready. I'm giving elegance, I'm giving classy, I'm giving a little sexy to it. I'm getting, I'm standing out from everybody else. All right, now I will admit, no, actually, you know y'all, 
her hair actually fits it's giving still elegance the chandelier vibe i really like it hair nails necklace can't see the shoes too much but baby she ate she ate 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 i like this look I really do. Maybe because it stands out, but y'all, I really like this look. It's broken glass. It's and yet it's still and yet y'all, even though it's kind of dramatic, it still didn't do too much. That's what I like about the look. I really liked it. I got dramatics without doing too much. I know a lot of y'all gonna have to agree with me on this one. This guy's look was not bad. It was not bad. He got the red tuck suit, full like, blown out suit actually, y'all. But it's just the. The, the coat, if we just would have took the coat off before we went and took the picture, would have been fine because it would just been a nice red tux. And he looked good in it. The red against his skin tone is beautiful. I just feel like, you know, the, the, the coat, it, what was the reason? What was the, pro wh wh why? That's how I felt when I seen the coat. I was, why? What was the reason? I couldn't understand why. And honestly, this could have been a 9 out of 10 look, but I'm about to give you a 7 out of 10 because I just couldn't understand the point of the coat. You would have stood out anyways because a lot of these people didn't have any type of coordination with their looks and people went with half tuxes. You went with the actual full blown out, thought out tux. You would have stood out already because nobody else did this. JT. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm not a big City Girls fan, but I expect a little bit more. I did expect a little bit more. She doesn't look bad. She's actually cute. I really do like the um, hair with the dress. It's very fitting. Goes together. But she looks like she's a girl from Louisiana. About to go to... It gives like Princess and a Frog. Like that type of style. Like the Louisiana look. And I just feel like she's about to go to a funeral. But a high profile funeral again. High profile. And y'all, somehow I forgot to rate her look. But it was an 8 out of 10. And y'all, Big Red. This was not a music video this i the now this look was her look but considering this was an award show we could have stepped it up just just a little bit um we could have stepped it up and not not everybody need to go y'all i could well, why, why should she have a stack of money with her well, why why do we have a stack of money what are we doing like not everybody need to go but like i said y'all that's all i got that's all the looks i'm writing because i feel like i did a lot already but what are y'all thoughts in the comments section down below um let's talk about it which like what like what looks did you guys like which looks didn't you like um let me know anyways you guys if you haven't already go ahead like comment share subscribe to this video give this video a thumbs up hit that post notifications bell down below so you know if whenever i post and i can't wait to see you all in the next one love you guys bye